In today's video, we got the 2020 Corvette C8 here to play with and check it out today next to my 2014 Nissan GTR. So I'm interested to see what this car is actually like as a performance sports car. Last time I drove one, it only had 100 miles on it. So just putting around just to really get my bearings with the car in general. But now we're gonna get it out and open it up just a little bit, see what kind of performance it has. Because in my opinion, the last decade, the Nissan GTR has been that affordable supercar. But then now, a decade later, the new Corvette, this thing is just blowing everybody's mind. It's a mid-engine car, pretty much on par with a 458 or a 570S. And yet this is well under 100 gram. All right, guys, so we are now in the C8 Corvette. Here is Clarence. Definitely check out his YouTube channel, C Gardner Speed 252. Um, thank you for coming out. Yeah, Let man. us check out your car. Right, absolutely. Uh, beautiful spec. Like, Appreciate it. Really, seriously. <laughs> uh, like any car, I mean, it does not do justice when you're just looking at videos and pictures, but it's like a Ferrari. Like, uh, That's what people say it is. Yeah. All right, so I have driven a C8 before. It had 150 miles on it and really just chilling, uh, still breaking it in. You got 3,600 on this thing. Yes. So you've driven it a little bit, which is good. Absolutely. <laughs> so today's video, we're gonna kind of compare performance because you've never even driven GTR before. No, not at all. Have you been in one at all? Never even touched one. All right, well, that's gonna change today. <laughs> So uh, I'm gonna drive this and kind of get my performance feeling of what a C8 actually has to offer. Not on a racetrack or anything too crazy, but at least kind of stretch its legs up maybe a little right, bit. Yeah, absolutely. And then uh, you know you'll do the same in my car. And then Mexico is like right over there actually. Okay. So we'll do a quick little pull just to kind of see what a stage three full bolt on GTR is against this, because this car it seems like already it it packs a pretty insane punch. Yeah. Like it's not a slow car at all. Let's feel it out just a little bit. It's got a good sound to it. Like, the brakes, I mean, they do a really good job. 
of Absolutely. Some electronic brakes. Yeah. Amazing. Just a really good balance and blend. Man, I, I like it. So it's got some get up and go. I wouldn't say it is the fastest thing, at least once you're moving, but I mean, it's fast enough that it moves, it does what it should do. Right. So as of now, we have not done the race yet. I think I'm going to win, but your car is <laughs> probably going to get me off the line just because you don't have turbo lag. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, the third year, like 40. That'd be interesting. That'd be interesting. I agree. But uh, no, as far as handling goes, this is definitely a step up and obviously the looks and everything. Right. And uh, even on just some country roads, back roads on this, definitely impressive. Uh, excited to see your opinion on the GTR. They're completely different cars. Okay. So as far as the actual car goes, they're not even the same. They just, I think they, well, they're not competitor cars. They're competitors and what they represent for a car, I guess. Right. If that makes sense. It does. So it's kind of same but different. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's it for the C8, and uh, yeah, let's hop in the GTR and uh, you see what you think about yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so you've never been in a GTR. Not at all. And did I hear correctly, you don't like GTR? I do not. <laughs> can, can he come back on the channel? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so just like your respect. So okay, yours doesn't turn on my steering wheel then. Yeah. This is planted as well, though. Just as yeah. much as the C8. Yeah, not bad. Around like uh, high speed turns, you can kind of feel some of the weight. Okay. But overall, not too bad. <laughs> it does open up, though. Yeah. <laughs> now, what's your favorite thing about this car? I think I really like the old school feeling of how mechanical it is. Okay. Like, the more I've driven it, the more I feel every little thing that makes a clunk or a click. Okay. It's just dramatic and like, it's unlike anything else. So it's just, I don't know, it puts a smile on my face every time I drive it. Uh, just because it's, it's clunky, it's weird. <laughs> but then when you pin it, it, it scares you. It's, it's really fast. Now, would you trade it up for a newer GTR at some point, or what do you yeah, think? Yeah, I, okay. I see uh, the 2017s, a lot of revisions have been made. Okay. So I see doing that eventually. I can see that because once you have like that style, it's it's something addicting just the way it feels. Right. That's definitely pretty sweet. 
So now uh, we got a long trip now to Mexico and uh, see how they do next to each other yeah. and wrap things up. Yeah. So we are back from Mexico, not a bad trip. So let's go over the two poles. So the first one went three, two, one, go. Yes. On go. Um, the lag honestly didn't actually hinder the DTR. Uh, you killed me. I was, I was actually impressed because I was expecting going at the same time for you to take me for a minute. That was... I had no chance of winning that one at all. <laughs> no, no, no. After driving the car myself personally, your car? Yeah. No, I knew I had no chance. Dang. So that might be the first well, I mean, it's not stock for stock, but first GTR to, you know, kind of smoke a C8. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, that was cool. Um, so that was a very realistic um, same time. So second run, you jumped it a little jumped bit. Jumped it a little bit, yep. Because okay. uh, I, I put the, uh, I hit the gas pedal, which put it in performance mode. Yeah. And then at that point, I just floored it. Okay. And hopefully by the time you got the three, I would yeah. just be going at that point. So by the time I said go, he was already going, and then I was going. And it took me till the end, till we stopped. Yeah. And I, I think I was catching you, well... We'll see that one clip with me, um, you know, facing the Corvette. Um, but I would have to probably get to about 100 to catch you there, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. But interesting to see the performance. I mean, of course, that GTR, guys, it's not stock. Full bolt-ons, you know, straight pipe, injectors, intakes. So that's not stock. Not, uh, you running 93 or E85? Yep, 93. Okay, cool. So it's, it's around 600 at the wheels, maybe a little less. And then this car, 495 engine? 495 engine, probably 452 yeah. to the wheel. So we got a, maybe 150 horsepower difference. Yeah. Uh, torque, you got probably similar torque as horsepower, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. My torque, I think, is roughly the same as my horsepower number. Okay. So, you know, I got a good amount of power in addition and a little bit heavier weight. But all in all, still a good race yeah, to absolutely. see the differences. Yeah, absolutely. It was fun. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we've seen the CAs. I mean, these are fast cars. These are track cars. The handling, I think, is more precise and more pinpoint than the GTR because it is that lower, you know, that mid-engine car. It's just, right. It's a lot different. <laughs> but, um... Regardless, pretty awesome. Uh, I guess that's about going to wrap up today's video, though, Clarence. I mean, thank you for yeah, coming no out, problem, letting man. us check out your car. Yeah, definitely. Uh, beautiful spec. Uh, Mike did a whole video. He probably showed it in a little bit more detail. But it looks this so cool. And the wheels, like, that looks so sick. Yeah. I love it. But uh, thanks for coming out. Yeah, and uh, check out his channel, Speed 252 Check him out. Give him a comment down below. Tell him thank you for coming out and uh, having some fun with the GTR. And we might have converted an American muscle car guy <laughs> into the GTR world. We hey, don't know. A nice drive. Is that's it for coming sure. in yeah. a few years? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It depends on if I can afford one. Yeah. <laughs> Swap one of the Corvettes for it, maybe. Uh, yeah, possibly. We no. might get them, guys. We might. Oh, use your model. We'll try to work hard and pay something off and try to get the next thing. There you go. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a massive thumbs up. Smash the subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next video.